Hey friends, I hope you guys are well. My name is Kaylin. if you haven't been here before. I'm so glad you're here today. Today I just wanted to chat a little bit about social media and just my thoughts on social media lately. I hope you guys can relate and I would love, love, love just to hear your thoughts and your wisdom about this down below and just the sort of things that work for you in balancing social media and life in general. I think we can all kind of agree that social media tends to be an escape from reality and give us some sort of satisfaction when we go on it, whether it's Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, which I'm not even on Snapchat or Twitter, but there's so many different things out there and it's all pretty much the same. It's just a way for us to kind of unplug from what we're doing in the day and just dive into a different world for a little bit. and. Um, yeah, I'm just going to share my thoughts on it lately. That's what I tend to do. I'm definitely conscious of my use of social media, but sometimes I definitely get kind of anxious and feel like it's because I've been on it too much. So I deleted Facebook and Instagram off my phone the other day and there was just different things coming up and I'm just feeling anxious and I just knew, I knew in my heart that that would be really good. So I told my husband, hey, this is what I'm doing. I wrote down my little goal for the time. And I did it and just immediately deleting them, I felt just a sense of relief and peace. It's just so powerful to kind of be focused in on the present and focused in on what was at hand. When I deleted those apps, I actually just enjoyed my day so much more. I was so present with my daughter and just present around the house and doing the things that I needed to do. I had more energy and just mental power to be focused on the things that I wanted to accomplish those days. And it's so easy for me to fill my mind up with other things all the time and to not sit down and be silent and be at rest. And I just know it's not healthy. I know that that blocks me out from hearing God and from hearing what he's trying to communicate with me throughout my day. So even just, you know, watching YouTube videos when I fold laundry or simple things like that, it's still so important to just leave space in our days and in our mind where we just unplug and just have silence when we do things and don't fill up all of those spaces with the voices and opinions of others, what other people are doing throughout their day, what other people are wearing, what other people are saying about politics or the holidays or whatever it is. Ultimately, those things don't matter. It doesn't matter what I have to say. If you don't watch my videos, you're not missing out on something that's absolutely life-changing to you. I mean, I hope that my videos provide you with positive content that is helpful and encouraging, but ultimately just being silent and being with yourself is so much more important than anything anyone on social media could ever give to you. What do you do? What do you do to stay balanced with social media? I know there are different apps out there that can limit your time spent on it. Do you stop using social media a certain day of the week? Or do you have rules where you don't use it after a certain time at night? I'm kind of playing around with those ideas and I personally want to continue to limit my use of it just so I can be more focused and present and enjoy life more and just focus more on the tangible things in my life. I personally really try and be authentic and real on social media and share as much as possible, just the raw sort of stuff, but it's still not real, you know, likes and comments, and I feel like so many people are ultimately just trying to promote themselves. It just feels like phony social circles sometimes, not, not all the time, there are definitely amazing people out there, but I just mean overall, that's the general mood of it. And I have no interest in taking part of that kind of superficial self-promotion side of social media in a sense of it being really inauthentic and reaching out to people that you don't care about, that sort of thing. It just seems so phony, you know? I know you know, but it's just not healthy. It doesn't feed my soul with good things. I rarely get off social media and think, wow, I'm so uplifted, I'm so inspired, I'm so ready to tackle this project today. If you do feel that after watching certain videos or looking at certain people's posts, then by all means keep them and stay tuned to what they have to share, but there's so much negativity, even negativity that's packaged as good things, even inspirational posts that leave you feeling crappy even though they're supposed to be inspirational. So just be aware of how things are affecting your soul. Be aware of when you just need silence. Be aware of when you need to turn to God and go read your Bible or go pray or do something else that's actually going to feed your soul and not kind of just numb it with cookies and cake. I feel like that's what social media does to our soul sometimes. We consume it like we binge on junk food or something like that and it just kind of plugs us up. It doesn't actually help us or give us 
true life. So let me know what you do to have a healthy relationship with social media. I would truly love to hear and can't wait to chat with you guys. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around and see more of me, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you have a beautiful day and that you are able to just leave more space in your mind and in your soul for just other more positive things and social media to fill up. I hope that God's love and peace are able to fill your heart today and that you don't feel the need to just stuff it with other things because you are so loved and he has all that peace and rest that we're actually looking for. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.